Hey everybody, welcome to the Electrician's Boot Camp. My name is Scott Pomerico. I have a pretty good series for you this time. Uh, this video here, particular one, is on cooking ranges and ovens calculations. Uh, if we look in our code book under 220.55, you'll notice that there's a table there. You notice there's a couple of columns. The first column is the number of ranges. The second column and third column, which is second and third, which is A and B, that's for smaller ranges. And then we notice column C, which is the last column, which is for ranges up to 12 kW. We also notice, uh, looking at that, we take a look at the bottom. And on the bottom, there's a couple of notes. The first note is for all the same ranges. So in other words, they're all the same. They're all 15 kW. They're all 12 kW. So we have 20, 15 kW. And we could do a calculation for that. The second one is where we have ranges of different sizes. So we might have a 12, a 15, a 9. All together, we want to add them up in one building. And we'll do a calculation for that. There's also another note where we're dealing with smaller ranges. And we're in the A and B column. When we do anything in A and B, what we have to do is we have to actually compare it to C. Because C is the maximum for tw up to 12 kW. Okay, So we'll take A and B. We'll get an answer. And we'll compare it to C. And we'll take a look at that. And the last note that I'd like to take a look at would be where we have three ranges, basically smaller ranges. They're all in one room which that's what it says in the calculation or the problem that we're looking at. And also, they're all on one single line. So we'll take a look at that. Okay, so let's look at uh, cooking equipment. All right, we'll take a look at uh, feeder demands. So if we wanted to know, for instance, the feeder demand for, let's say, an, a complex, a condominium or whatever the case may be, there's eight. 14 kW ranges in that particular scenario. Okay? So what would we do? They're all the same. That's note one. Okay? It says there that anything more than 12, we have to add 5% to. So ours is 14, which is two more, two up from 12. So two spaces that we move up, we would times that by 5, which would give us 10. Now take a ruler and go to uh, eight ranges, okay? And go across to the right-hand side all the way over, and you'll see 23 kW. Now take that 10% that you had and add that to the 23 kW, okay? And we get... 25.3 for our answer. So what I did was I took 23, I times it by 10%, and I got 2.3. Then I added that to 23, and I wound up with 25.3 as my answer for that one. So that was a good example for uh, note one. Okay, the next one we have is we have multiple ranges. Okay, this, and we want to find the service demand for six. 12 kW ranges, okay? And also there's four 8 kW ranges, and there's 10, 15 kW ranges. So how do we do that? Well, let's take a look at it. The first one, okay, what we do is we add up all the kWs and divide by the number of ranges. That's what it says in note two. Notice when you're reading note 2, it also says that anything less than 12 becomes 12. And then we add 5% for every range that's more than 12. Okay, 
So let's take a look at that. So I did 6 times 12, and I got 72. Okay. Then I did uh, 4 times 12. I made that 8 a 12. Okay. So 4 times 12 gave me 48. And then I did 10 times 15, which gave me 150. Okay. So altogether, I wound up with 270 kW. I took that 270, and I divided it by 20. Okay. When I did that, I wound up with 3.5. 3.5, since it's 5 or more, we would round up to 14, okay? So now, again, we're 2 higher than 12, so that's 5% and 5%, which is 10%, okay? So we'll hold on to that 10%. We'll go to 20 ranges, all right? We'll look across to the right-hand side, and we'll see that it says 35 kW. Well, we times that by 10%. And we get 3.5. All right. Then what we do is we add that to the 35. And we wind up with 38.5. Okay. Again, it's pretty simple. Okay. You could always review this video again if you have to. I, again, there's a lot of uh, information here that you'd want to absorb. Again, if you have any questions, you could always email me. Let's take a look at note three where it says that we're in A or B, we would compare it to C, okay? So we have, uh, let's say we have 10 8 kW ranges, for instance, okay? Let's look at that. So I take 10, and I times that by 8 kW, all right? And then I times that number by the 10 ranges in column B, which tells me 34%. I wind up with a number of 17 excuse me, 27.2, all right? Now, that 27.2, remember, we have to compare that to C. So 27.2 is our answer in B, all right? C is 25. So the difference is C is the lower number, and that's the one we're going to take because we're looking for the minimum number, okay? We can use the minimum number. So 25 would be your answer for that one. Pretty interesting. The uh, last one we'll talk about is we have a branch circuit demand load. We have one 8kW oven. We have one 7kW oven. And I have one 8kW cooktop. They're all supplied from a single branch circuit, and they're located in the same room. So what do we do? Okay. We add all three of the nameplate rates together, and we get 8 plus 7 plus 8 equals 23, all right? If you remember what I said, I said that you have one range. So one range in column C is 8kW, okay? So we're going to use that. But let's take a look at the uh, calculation to get the percentage, okay? So we take 23, which is our number of KWs, we subtract that from 12, and we wind up with 11. Okay, 11 is our factor. So 11 times 5% gives me 55%. All right. Now, remember I said to take that 55%, we only have one range, and let's times that by the, our 8KW, and we wind up with 4.4, okay? We would take that and we'd add that to the 8, which we would get 12.4 kW. Okay, on the test it may say 12 kW. They may give you the exact answer of, again, 12.4. Okay, one other thing I wanted to talk about is if we're talking about three-phase range, three-phase services where we have uh, single-phase ranges. I just want to read something out of our code book. It says, where two or more single-phase ranges are supplied by a three-phase four-wire feeder, the total shall be computed by based on twice the maximum number between any two phases. Okay. We can look in Annex D in the back of the book, and there are some examples on D5A is a perfect example of that. Okay. Let's just go over a couple of uh, examples that I've made up. That will give you some uh, some variety 
so you can see a couple of different types of uh, three phase ranges three excuse me three phase services for these ranges this way you will kind of have an idea of, of what to look for okay so if we have uh, 30 single phase uh, ranges okay on a three phase service if we divide that number by three we get 10 on a 10 on B and 10 on C okay it says twice that so we times that 10 by 2 and we get 20 as our answer okay now once we got that 20 since they're 12 kW we would just look at the 20 on the chart go across and we notice the answer is 35 okay so that's a simple one okay three phase you'll see that on the test uh, again it's been on a few tests uh, some of the books that I look through the review books and things like that they don't have three phase ranges in there but you will see them uh, on the test one other one let's just do another one where it's 38 15 kW ranges you know it's three phase 208 120 volt service okay so again if we divide that by three now we don't get an even number we get 13 on a 13 on B we get 12 on C so we take the largest one okay we times that by two and we wind up with 26 all right so now if we look down in the column 26 and we go across it says 15 plus 1 kW for every uh, kW that we have so uh, we have 26 so it'll be 26 plus 15 which we would wind up with 41 kW okay so we're at 15 kW we uh, the the chart is at 12 so we subtract that and we get three three times five which would give us 15 percent so we take that 41 number that we were just talking about and we times that by 15 percent okay we will wind up with 47.15 kw so that would be our answer for that particular problem so it's the 15 percent times the uh, 41 and we get 47.15 so that's how you do the three phase range I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in again if you have any questions please feel free to email me at the electric medic medic at gmail.com you can take a look at our website